Hello, this is Tammy from Flagstaff, Arizona Living. And besides Flagstaff, I also specialize in the areas of Williams and Sedona. Today I'm in Williams and we're going to show you what you can get for your money out here. If you have horses, there is space for your horses here in Williams. There's a couple of neighborhoods that have HOAs, but for the most part, you are CC and R free. You can do as you please with your land. And here is a view of what that might look like for you. So let's go walk around and we'll see a couple of houses in a few different price ranges and you can see what living in Williams looks like. Today we are in Williams, Arizona. Williams is just 30 miles to the west of Flagstaff and it's a little bit more of the country life. If you like more space, if you like more trees, um, you probably have more wildlife sightings as well. This is definitely a great place to be. Um, the interstate is right behind us. So that is I-40. And here's a little look at this neighborhood we're in today. A lot of people who live in Williams will work in Flagstaff. And so it's about a, you know, 30 minutes to 40 minutes, depending on where you're at. Sometimes the freeway will close because of snow and ice. That might happen once or twice a year. And it's usually just for a few hours. And so um, it can make you late for work once or twice a year. And let's go look around. It's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful day. Okay, so I'm in Williams. This is called Brookline Drive. It's a whole little community. This house across the street is listed at 416. It's a two bedroom and a three bathroom. It's 1400 square feet. They're just these really small little homes, but they're kind of perfect if you don't have a real big family. And they have little fenced in backyards. It's just gorgeous out here. And honestly, I have to say living in Northern Arizona, pretty much 80 to 90% of our days are this gorgeous. Whether it's cold or a little on the warm side, it's always just as pretty. So we're going to take a look around Williams and see what else we can find. All right, so this is a three bedroom, two bath, $692,000, 2,000 square feet. Look how pretty this is. So you're close to your neighbors, but there's definitely plenty of space here. This is the road that you're on and there's a lot of empty lots. So if you want to just build your own home, about 179, you can get an empty lot. And there's quite a few of them on this road. So a lot of these homes are new construction, really beautiful. Uh, Williams is definitely a place where you're away from the city if you don't want to have too much happening around you all the time. Okay, look at that view. That is amazing. I could definitely live on the street and have that view every day. We do get snow up here in Northern Arizona. So those mountaintops are going to be filled with snow at some point. But luckily this road is going to get plowed for you. It looks like the city takes care of it. If you get further off into the woods, woody area, you're going to need water to be hauled into you and have your own septic. But here it looks like everything's connected to the city. Alrighty, so this beautiful home right here is four bedroom, two bathroom, 735, 2400 square feet. It's really, really pretty. It looks like it came from a storybook. And this is the area of Williams that we're in. This area is right next to a golf course. So in your backyard, that's the golf course right there. And then if you keep driving, you go a little bit more out into the woods where people have one to two acres of land out there. You're only about five to 10 minutes from the freeway. And the smaller town of Williams is also only about five miles away. Anyways, this is a wonderful little place. Okay, 
Okay, so this four bedroom, three bath house is 769, 2200 square feet. Lots and lots of space here. Plenty of space for lots of cars and vehicles, and you can probably even park an RV or a boat around here somewhere. And this is the view of the beautiful mountains right there. There's an empty lot right next door. Ooh, and look at that lake. I think that's called Cataract Lake. So it's like a lake view home. How beautiful is that? That is amazing. Definitely, if you're into any kind of like paddle boarding or kayaks, that would be an amazing place. Um, there is a, like a state park or maybe a county park at the lake. And so it'd be a really fun place if you have friends staying or family. And again, here's the view out your front. Not a bad view in any direction, I have to say. So that one's 769. All right, so this beautiful home right there is 265, two bedroom, two bath, 1200 square feet. And I'm not gonna walk around out there because there's like a giant mud pit right there and I don't want to get stuck, but it looks beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna do another drive-by here of another two bedroom, two bath home listed at 260. It's tucked up in there in the pine trees. You can barely even see it. I'll see if I can get a better view, maybe from here without interrupting the family that lives there. There we go. Right up that hill. Lots of privacy around here in the area of Arizona. And this is what. So, this tiny home right here is only 450 square feet. It's one bedroom, one bath. And it is in a location where you have to haul water. And it's the listing price, 250000 When people hear about having to haul water, feeling a little bit off grid, that can either be a plus sign or a negative sign. Um, it looks like people here were using this just as an Airbnb, but it's super adorable. The neighborhood's amazing. There is a 360 view for you. Okay, now we are at an adorable little tiny home that's in still in Williams, very close to the interstate and very close to the Grand Canyon. And I think this is just absolutely adorable. It looks like it sits on about a half acre. Let's get a closer look at this. It looks like it's been site built. The foundation looks secure. Oh, look at that cute little fire pit out there. That's adorable. Such a cute deck. You're still very secluded. Lots of place um, just to be on your own without any neighbors interrupting you. So Williams is a life. If you're looking for the country life, Williams is a life for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also tap the bell if you want notifications for when I have a new video out. Thanks so much.